You gotta give me the silent treatment on night, Cal. He's late. Your boy is late. You were late, and now your boy is late. You gotta see me, Cal. I'm serious. 20 minutes. No. 25. I know. Then why'd you bring him in if he's this friggin' irresponsible? Yeah, about that. The money is great two ways. It's only okay three ways. I don't like okay. I don't work for okay. And I don't know this guy. Hmm. You know me, though. Trust me. Did I interrupt anything? Have a seat, Stan. Stan, this is Cal. Cal, Stan. Nice to meet you, Carl. You on a watch? You're late. I didn't know you're my dad in my past curfew. <laughs> All right. Look, we're getting off on the wrong foot here. Look, Stan, Carl hates people being ladies all, and he's not too keen on disrespect either. Talk to me like I care. You want respect, you earn it. I wonder how hard it would be to knock your teeth out. Cool it. Hey, I'm just wondering no. is all. And I got another question while I'm at it. What does clown shoes here bring to the table besides fresh lip on a two-man job? He's our inside man. Really? Yeah, really. I got the passcodes to enter the door. I know when the guards are going through because I am a guard. I even know when the most money's going through. So yeah, really. See? Trust, Carl. I'm not wondering why we need you, Carl. Look, let's get clear on one thing here. Carl and I have been partners for years. I trust him. It's both of us, or you go alone. Got it? Whatever. Fine by me. But you two are split in one share. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just who do you Fine. Really think? It's enough to split that way. There is no way. Wait, Shut up, Carl. It is rapidly becoming obvious to me that you have no idea to whom you are speaking. Open your mouth again, and I will gladly show you. Calm down and trust me, Carl. Stop talking. I mean it. Much better. Look, Tuesday, 3 AM. That's the best time for the pickup. There's only one guard other than me, and the money will be right there for the 4 AM drop. And this other guy, he's just gonna let you walk out with it. What, is he gonna hold the door open for you? I guess his wife's gonna have to get used to sleeping alone. I worked with the guy for four years. I hate him. Not enough for you, tough guy. You're gonna cap your own partner. I like omelets. Even if it means breaking an egg to get one. It works. Now, get going before someone sees us talking. No one's put us together yet, and it'd be better for you if they didn't. Just in case Carl or I get caught. In case we get... Good idea. You pay for my beer, won't you, Carl? Well? I have met the man for five minutes, and I want to put him down like a rabid dog. He's known the guy for four years, and f just like that? Where's the loyalty? I'd sooner put a bullet in him than, uh, than work with him. You serious? How long have you known me, Mike? When have I ever joked about something like that? Name the time. Good. I was hoping you'd say that after you met him. That's why I kept you in the dark. What are you talking about? Remember why you're always saying every good thief needs? Somebody else to blame. Exactly. So there's this robbery by a guard who ups his own partner. Later he's found in a pool of his own blood with a little seed money spread around him. The rest gets split twice. Trail ends? With him. And I get to do the honors? I won't hold you back. Nice. You pay for his beer, though. It would be my pleasure. I just needed to get the rest of my stuff. Yeah. Well, don't step on my account. Is this mine or yours? That's mine. We got it at the bookstore a couple months ago. Are you sure? Because I just get the feeling that it's mine. You can have it. 
whatever, consider it as a gift, one argument. I'll just buy another one. All right, can we talk? I wanted to talk. Talk about what? This, this is wrong. And what exactly is wrong about this? Please tell me because I would love to hear this one. All of it. See, see, it's that exact brand of specificity that has kept us going this far. How can you be so casual about this? How can you be so sarcastic? And how can you be so vague, Mark? What exactly is so wrong about this being over? Please tell me because I have no idea. All right, to sum it up, we have a good thing. I care about you, I love you, and we've both made mistakes. Tend it over one more is just wrong. We've been through way too much together to do that. I can't even start to address how many things are wrong with what you just said. What? What is so wrong in what I just said? Look past the anger, I know it's there, but just do it. And tell me one thing that I just lied about. You don't want this, Mark. You really don't. Yes, I do. Because I care about you. Fine. Here it goes. For one, we haven't been through anything together. So you see, that's anger talking. We've been through plenty together. No, we haven't. I have. I've been through your drinking period, and I've supported you while you got that raise and led you to a better position but never being home. I've been through your hobbies and your toys. Wasted hours of couples therapy where I had to drag you to just so you can lie on my face. And I've had to deal with self-doubt until I finally have proof that you were sleeping with her. Are you trying to come off as blameless here? Are you really doing that? Did I fool around on you, Mark? Did I? Did I fool around on you? I had opportunities, and I had offers, but did I? I told you that I made a mistake. I've been apologizing for a week. And I have been ignoring that apology. Doesn't that say anything to you? I don't accept it, and I never will. This is over, Mark. And you keep saying that this is both our fault, but please, tell me, what have I done to you? Tell me about the time that I went out and became a raging drunk and you held my hand through recovery. Tell me, what have I done to you? You've never really listened. Not really. See, and my argument is that I listened way too much. We stayed on the same level of commitment for three years because I listened. And I let you sway me. I loved you so much that it made me a moron. I knew that was the root of all this. You don't think I'll marry you? Three years, Mark. You have got to be kidding me. No, please. I screwed up. I'm man enough to admit it. But I want to make this right. I want to change this. I want to prove that I'm serious. Frida, please, will you marry me? Wow. I'll leave it to you to make the most romantic proposal in history. Thank you. What? I'm, I mean it. And so do I. Thank you. You have just made every moment of this break and make complete sense to me with just one gesture. Get your stuff and go, Mark. I'm gonna go to my kitchen and I'm gonna make myself a sandwich. And when I come back here, you will be gone. And if you come back, you will find those locks changed. Thank you so much for proposing. Hi, I'm Jim Mundy, and I'm gonna play some songs I've been working on.